Let's continue here. We have a theorem in our book that says for any polynomial, and they just write out the polynomial, in any real number a, the limit as x approaches a of the polynomial, the way you find that, or an easier way to find it, is just sub in for each x that a value. Each x, we're subbing in at a and calculate it. In other words, it's saying the limit as x approaches a of a polynomial is the polynomial evaluated at that number. All right, so let's see. Let's look at an example here. Limit as x approaches 3 of this polynomial, x squared minus x plus 5. Remember in algebra how you had to tell if something was a polynomial or not? Well, that's why you had to do it. So whenever you get the calculus, this becomes easier. This is a polynomial. So according to the statement we just read, we can sub in 3 for each x. So what does that give me? 9 minus 3 plus 5. 9 minus 3 is what? 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. Well, how about we redo this problem that we did earlier, but instead of breaking it up and using all those properties, we just say, well, that's just a polynomial. So we got that problem written here. So now that we know that statement, we could say, here's a polynomial. Let's just evaluate it at 7. 7 squared minus 5 times 7 plus 1. It's 49 minus 35 plus 1. 49 minus 35 gives me what? 14 plus 1 is what? 15. 